I have arrived on the Gate World. However, I am picking up some strange readings in the area. I do not recall these strange structures from my previous stopovers on this planet. Someone or something has been doing some remodeling. When I first discovered this planet some decades ago, I had one of my associates construct a small base. I did not, however, instruct him to build any type of research facility. Yet my readings indicate that the primary structure in this area includes a server and an enormous data center. I would very much like to capture its server core. Don't we have more pressing matters to attend to? My boy, do you not possess your father's sense of curiosity? His desire to peer into the unknown? Father, my concerns... Ivan, Shiva Prime will not disappear. Heaven knows the wayward Siren Gage will be unable to glean anything from it beyond acknowledging that it is quite shiny. Let us explore. I need to make a front line as quickly as possible. New research options are available. No, leave them alone for now. Bigger fish to fry. I don't know. Ivan, what are you playing at here? Kill? Start constructing what I told you to. The engineers have constructed a wall of point defenses that are blocking the path to the data center. I believe this may require an air force, though you will want to be extremely conscious of the anti-air towers. It appears the engineers are building an excessive quantity of defensive towers. I believe there are a few bugs in the base's automated maintenance system. So I also won't get through. Go on. My turrets will deal the rest. Come on, I need more turrets before they start getting close to our base. No, don't focus that. Focus the bloody engineer. Ay, 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 ay. Down for five. Right, this was... <laughs> Where is it? We we'll want this again. Because that's a better rate of fire on my turrets. I'm going to need it. <laughs> See? Kind of slow. Worried about these two. I have a tactical nuke I can throw at them, unfortunately. What's that doing? I'm gonna have to probably pull that back a little bit, this line. Probably go to five and then have to pull back a little bit. Because I have feeling one or two of these is going to start seeing me. Just pull off for now. We'll manage with just four. Uh, let's pull up on the... On the You need these ones here because they, they attack from the water eventually. <laughs> Which isn't great. I'm a bit wary to leave this with just six turrets defending it, but. We'll leave it alone for now. I need to get these mass deposits captured. So at least help. Uh, yeah, let's get a build deduction as well. 
There's only three fighters there. Uh, do some reclaiming for me. Just to help out a little bit. Keep the place tidy. <laughs> I really do need them turrets though, because I won't hesitate sooner or later to start heading this way. If the numbers start increasing, then I can just up the ante a little bit more. I think that will manage for now. It is managing for now, <laughs> I should say. Well, I do need to get some air units to go in at some point. Husks don't really give too much out, which is a shame. Start building a few more of these. Just to, you know, be safe. Save there as well. Oh. Right, I'm quite happy with our defence then. That should keep us some good that should give us some nice coverage for a little bit. I need them though, because look who's coming. We have some boats inbound. They're not boats though then. They're here to steal my staff. <laughs> I remember that. A bit of a dick move, honestly. Oh why? Let's increase that rate of fire. There we go. Just give something to cry about for a bit. We're not gonna really need shield generators for this one, because there isn't really anything we have to shield against right now. I can't go and mass these trees unfortunately either, which is a shame. I wish I could, but, you know. Let's make this look fancy. Because why not? It's my base after all. I am cybering right now. Okay. That should hold them for a little while, which is nice. A little while, anyway. Let's put another line there. Because I have that weird feeling they're going to just sneak by one day. <laughs> we do have pretty good range on this bank probably. Might not need this last line, but you never know. I could put another line up here if I wanted as well. Plenty of mass for the time being. We're good. Nice and steady for now. Nice and steady. I am detecting an increase in production at the factories. This is a splendid development. I do not understand, Father. The code is adapting, morphing, mutating. Good. It means it's hard, isn't it? I don't know if the last four I put in will actually do anything, but it's a nice looking defense, so I don't care. <laughs> I might put some shield generators in. I have them yet? No. I do actually want a forward radar, mind you. Because the radar coverage I have right now is here. Yeah. I want it over here, though. So, putting it here should give me some better sight. To the... I need the sight so I can see what's going on in the water. Yes, there's water, so why not build some naval? Father. What is the story with Commander Gage? He was a proto cyber like you. A uh, proto-proto, if you will, whose parents volunteered him for the project. The initial changes I made to the Cybran symbiont program, his DNA, and to the alien Seraphim DNA, produced a less than desirable result. You tested on humans? 
My child, without my quantum AI and the advanced computational power it provided, I can no longer run simulations like I could in the past. Naughty. Yeah, this is why I wanted to look in the water. They've got naval over there. Well, I've got ships anyway. So, I don't know, really know where to put you on patrol, my little friend. I guess I'll put you from there to here for now. Keep the turrets intact. They're reclaiming over there. They're trying to build anyway. I don't think they get increased range, these guys. I can't remember. Uh, increases radar. Increases increases sonar. Not very helpful. I'll tell you that one though, which increases damage. You know how much I value research. And okay, so he said to focus air. Fine. Uh, really not doing great on research mass right now though. There's nothing really. I can't mass convert the crap, but I'll take them. They kind of work at the very least. <laughs> Well, at least we're getting some nice research through. That's not a bad looking research facility. Even though research is, is kind of silly in this. I really want to... It's, it's the point defences here. If I could clear them, I could go after that lot a bit more. But I know they'll get shot at instantly. So for now, you just go on a wide adventure, my friend. And I want a naval yard as well, if you would be so kind. There. I can't put defences in the water though, which is a bit of a shame. So let's have two of them for now. Even, there's a lot of anti air though, and I can't really see where that is. Got a lot of stuff moving about though. Mm. Oh, here we go again. Our engineers. Clever tactic, I'll give them that. I kind of want more defense turrets there though. He's got bots. <laughs> so we have some air units. Uh, let's see how far back that uh, anti-air is, I guess. Go heart to the, straight to the heart, would you kindly? I guess you'll have to just go patrol for now, because I ain't got anything better for you to do right now. A megalith would actually be pretty handy, weirdly enough. Because that could actually clear a lot of this out because it's got some good range megaliths. Actually, I get artillery, shouldn't I, as well? Do I have artillery? Uh, no, I don't get artillery. That's a shame. I wonder if them jump jets will work to get up on that top terrain there. Yeah, there's some nice interesting upgrades. Plus I get battleships, which is even nicer. Should probably get some boats in the water. Weird, they didn't the AI didn't go after my uh sea factory. Why? Let's have a few of these going. Uh can you hit that without getting killed? Probably not. Give it a go though. All that mass available. Uh, wide berth, wide berth, you're gonna get shot down. Okay, yeah, they have a lot. Oh, hello, factories. Ha uh ha. -huh. Gunships. Yeah, gunships are the bad corruption. Oh, stop. Yeah, never mind. Keep the two backups, but uh, yeah. 
That's we're just asking for trouble there. Uh, let's get the uh, megalith. No gunships here. Three more for them. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to need an experimental factory to get the uh, megalith two out. And I just need to find somewhere to put the bloody factory. I can't put it here for some strange reason. Oh right, the land is bad. That's why. Wow, I do not get much space to work with. Jeez. Let's put it down here. I'm curious about trying them jump jets, actually. You should help quite a bit. It's like ten of them, though. The bad, but the cheap. Like, these are... The jets are 95. They're only 70. And I can probably get a Deduction price? No, there isn't actually a price deduction on them. Hmm. They are pretty cheap though, so don't blame them. We've got a. Ooh, we have some boats. Good. Let's just move that out here. So, the upgrade for. Let's get some torpedoes and let us also get tactical missile. And. Sona? Yeah. That should actually help in the water, especially any uh, thing that wants to come close to that base. Oh, area. Right. I actually have enough for a megalith, so start building one. Assist. Because it doesn't cost me anything. Megalith should just clear a nice patch here and I can use it. I can keep him on the front then. Because I don't think you can actually capture an experimental. We'll soon find out though. You're going to so die, little one, and I'm going to be really unhappy when it happens, but God, go for it, little engineer. I... You are a true hero trying... You're on the front line here, mate, and you're, you're surviving. Just don't go too far back or you're going to die. Just go there, for now. I think my glyphs can still get over uh, turrets without any issue. I'll give them credit, this actually looks kind of cool, the Megalith Mark II. I wish it was a Monkey Lord, though. Oh, he's still there? Oh, no, back off, you're getting killed. Get no. Oh. Sad day. Dude. Yeah, see? He has range. That's a really good range. <laughs> oh, can they jump? Do they get that jump ability? That would kick ass if they get the jump ability. What I'm thinking to do is, if that jump ability works as it says, put the mobile missile launchers up here. They can bring down fire then. They've got some pretty good range on them. Seven for the jump jet though. I have four right now. So, worth a try. We're gonna need a uh, structure with the facility. A land factory, they call it. Go there, please. Good, we have a small fleet. Uh, we have a few ships, sorry. There's a difference. But look at that range. Yeah, this is why you want a megalith. Are you my patrolling one? Shift one. Yes, you are. Cheeky. Uh, be careful, you two. You're brand new off the... Hot off the, uh... Wow, they're sending a lot of stuff. Like, there's this, these two factories here. I need to kind of push back and kill them, really. That's what I need to do. Okay, let's move forward a little bit. Only a little. Though. I'm going to end up here building an army of megaliths, aren't I? You know, you know, there's actually nothing wrong with that. I'm happy to do that. Oh, my gunship's ready. Alright. Uh, did I get so many engineers again? I lost them, didn't I? Alright, yeah, we had to... Uh, I am... Yeah. 
go and help him, actually. Oh, Bose has seen someone. I... Yeah, let's see what these drum jets are like. So I wanted the... This anti-air. Right, there is artillery. I wonder if it affects the artillery. Let's have a look. Let's get an artillery out. If it does, that's going to be great, that putting the Jump artillery up there. access to your special abilities menu. To use them, select the ability, choose your destination, and the units will make the jump. There's loads of high platforms and little odd places. Well, no, there's only that one uh, platform there. But artillery-wise, could probably deal with that factory there at the very least. No, I'm not wasting a megalith. No, they seem to be having fun. Are they leveling up as well from this? They are. <laughs> they could be very powerful megaliths before their time has ended. Uh, right, so do you get jump jet? You do get jump jet. Oh, this changes things a little. Can you get up here then? Go. I only have the range of up here though, that's the only thing. But, that's something. How far does this go then? You get, so you can go to about here. I wonder if you can actually hit that. Okay, let's have a few of these then. At the very least, it's mobile turn. Uh, let's go with ten. Get ten of them as well. We'll dump them all up there. Another megalith ready. How many is too many when it comes to megaliths? Five? Nah, let's, let's say ten, because our unit cap seems to be quite generous right now. I want to... Naval. We haven't had naval for ages. I want that. I want that. Yeah. So, three megaliths. I should have just built megaliths originally. So easy. <laughs> Wow, they're really trying. <laughs> some more points. Thank God I have that radar. There's another one up here. I forgot that was popped on me. Yay! Now it's time to hunt those engineers down from the waters. Battleships. Let's have two, because these sound very expensive. Even though they're experimental battleships. Again, what I can't understand is why the uh, experimentals now ex require a factory to build them instead of, you know, just when you build them kind of thing. Seems a bit weird, though. Uh, you just build them with your commander or a tier 3 engineer. Why have we scaled so far back? Front line, please. Keep building them. Yes, a battleship is an excellent choice for long distance attacks. Oh god, wow. You've got some range on you, kid. That's battleship? You and I have a different perspective when it comes to battleships. I think it's ugly. The H. This is our docks. Let's uh, keep it like that. More there. More there. There. There we go. Now we have coverage. Alright. Uh, how many is too many basil ships? That's the next question. You No, I have actually engineers all over the place not actually doing anything. Go and help them with that. Let's take forever to build. They're really up in their ante a little bit though, these guys. Oh, another megalith. Things like candy, they used to be really expensive and very hard to build. <sighs> they don't feel like that anymore. And I hate this that this has as the tag for the experimental factory because I feel like I need to keep building these. <laughs> One on repeat, please. The world needs megaliths. Let's move in. Let's just go and you know a little bit closer. You're strong enough. You formated. 
They went to a formation. <gasps> yeah, I need to destroy that as well. Oh wait, I've got gunships. Go and kill that, because my megaliths are getting distracted by it. Way too easily as well. There we go. Now you can focus on what's really important. More megalith construction. Move forward. Keep going. Be further. That's what I wanted to see. I'm targeting factories now. Have I just kind of broken the game? Probably. I want some more, you know, battleships though. <laughs> this is gonna be. Oh wow, that's a lot of engineers all of a sudden. Are there, there must have more factories back here. Over here. Goodness. I actually don't think five of them is enough. I'm not kidding either. All I'm doing technically here is opening the line of traffic closer for them, to <laughs> so they can move through a bit quicker. I may have done something very dangerous here. We shall see. Let's get rid of one of them. We'll send them up the coast and see how well they do. Ooh, we've got more engineers. I have a weird feeling not to be cocky when it comes to this, because it might get them killed. Slow and steady. I believe is the right course here. Well, not too slow, but, you know. Go there. Just moving up every so often. Am I building any more megaliths? I am. Do they build anything else but uh, engineers? That's all they're building right now. <laughs> they just put, this one must be fully upgraded, yeah. Or fully ranked, anyway. Oh, I can't say anything about my combat. That's nice, at least. Boost their power. Anything else I want? A radar? Sonar? Tactical missiles. You guys need to move in closer, please. There we go. I actually need to capture that. Data center. What if I put three megaliths on either side? I should probably have to sneak a, uh, a, uh, engineer right down the center, right? Technically. Moving a little closer. Not too much, guys, though. Don't want to get too excited now. Oh, we're getting a bit excited there, guys. That took a lot of damage there as well. I didn't do anything to it. Okay, is that one up here yet? Almost. Can I just finish in this with one? Use Play your this? ACU or an engineer to capture the server core. Can I just destroy it? Oh, you have jump jets! Ooh, ooh. You can get right over there as well. Oh, I can. Okay, guys, you move up to here. You three move up here. Little engineer, do your thing! Never tell me there's like 10 more server cars, I hope. So, Megalus is the way forward. Why can't we just have armies of Megalus? Isn't that much easier? These things are so easy to build. 
Oh, funny. They used to cost like 20,000 mass and now it's like 400. It's nothing. I could probably wipe out them two islands. Let's be real. I have successfully retrieved the server core. I greatly look forward to debugging its code in order to see what made the engineer's software go awry. In fact, I can't think of anything I'd rather do over the next 67 hours. Let us proceed through the jump gate to Dr. Snyder's facility. Apparently a couple of me uh, megaliths are coming with me. <laughs> Operation completed. Real research? Ah, screw you. <laughs> that was actually really good for me, so... Eh. Thanks for watching.